Before I continue, I just want to give you guys access to the code from the C-Sharp core architecture because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build on top of that. But I don't want to kind of mess up this guy right here if you guys want to just get that on its own. Maybe you want to try to build your own console app at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone or download this and then I'm going to make a new repository under my ESV and where here I'm going to actually place a new uh, version of this where we're going to build the clean rest architecture, right? So let's start off by just downloading this project locally and I just do it by saying download zip file right here on the green button there and this will just download a zip file with my code but with no information about this specific repository in this location right here. That means that we can go and create a new one that points to a new set of, of code, right? So I have a zip file right here and let me just try and go and open that zip file. So now that I've downloaded my zip file from my GitHub repository, I want to make a local copy of that. And I'm pretty much just going to do it by opening this guy in a new window. Let's just open a new window. So I've extracted it here. I have my actual, the actual GitHub repository available right here. But notice it doesn't say any .git folder or anything like that. So it doesn't know it's a GitHub repository right now. It's just a local set of files in a file system, nothing else. We have the solution here, so we could start it all in Visual Studio right now if we wanted to. But before we do it, I want to place this in the right place, in the right location, so I can again upload it to a new GitHub repository later on in this video. How do I do that? Well, I've opened my good old friend, the desktop client, GitHub desktop client right here. I'll say file, I'll say new repository, and I'll actually give it a name. Let's just call it C Sharp Clean REST API 2018. That's just a name. And the folder I want to put it into is actually going to be inside this core folder right here. So I just put in the path for that down here. You can also go and find it inside uh, by using the Finder Explorer right here. I'll create the repository and you'll notice that it pops up right here and there's nothing in here except a .git file and a .ignore file. Now I'll just remove this ignore file for now. So I'll just try and delete it because I actually don't want that right now. I'm going to get an ignore file from the actual solution we got from our live repository. So let's just take all the stuff from the zip file and just drag it over here, see if it actually pops up in the other solution. There we go. So now, hopefully down here in our repository, inside the desktop client, you'll now see I need to add all of these new files. Sweet. So now we have an empty repository that just was turned into the actual solution I had on GitHub. The cool thing is I can now publish this back to GitHub with a new name. So let's just go in here and just say initial commit. Initial commit like this. I'll say commit to master. Now the final thing I need to do because now everything is locally committed. So this now knows exactly the C Sharp Clean REST API, knows exactly what files it should contain. And then we need to publish the repository back to GitHub. And I just want to keep the same name. But there's one in my case, there's one very important thing. I don't have a private setup on GitHub, so I can't have this setup. And I have an organization called ESV, so I have to pick this one before I press um, publish. You probably don't have an organization, so you can just publish. So let's just publish the repository and see what happens. After a few seconds, it should now be published. And I can now go and check out if the repository is now available on GitHub. I'll go into ESV right here, which is my organization. And you'll notice here it is. It was just uploaded the clean rest app API. Now there's no difference with this guy and the one I showed you in the last series. So now you know how we can actually download a repository, remove everything from the old Git setup and actually upload it into a new repository if you ever need that, at least with one set of directions. There's a lot of other ways you can do it. But let's end this video. See you next time. We're going to start breaking, removing the console app and making this into a REST API. Have fun.